In this video, we are going to learn how to determine the area and perimeter of a square. First of all, let us consider a square. Let the length of each side of the square be a. Then in this case, the area of the square is given by a squared. And the perimeter of the square is given by 4 times a. So this means that if we want to determine the area of the square, that is, if we want to determine the space covered by the square, then what we need to do is take the square of the length of the side. And if we want to determine the perimeter of the square, that is, if we want to determine the length of the boundary of the square, then we need to multiply 4 by the length of the side of the square. Now, let us have a look at why these formulas work. Consider a square, and let the length of each side of the square be a. Now, note that every square is a rectangle. So, we can use the formula for the area of a rectangle, and the area of any rectangle is given by the length times the width. Now, in the case of a square, the length is equal to a, and the width is also equal to a. So we can plug those values into the formula for the area of a rectangle, and we end up with a times a. And a times a is simply a squared. So we can see that the area of a square is a squared. Next, let us consider the perimeter of the square. Now the perimeter is simply the length of the boundary, and we can obtain that by adding the lengths of all of the sides. That means we need to add this, and this, and this, and this. So let us find the perimeter. We have a plus a plus a plus a, and that is simply equal to 4a. And so we can see that the perimeter of a square is equal to 4a. And so we can see that the formulas work. Now let us have a look at a few practice problems. Let us determine the area and perimeters of each of the given squares. Now let us have a look at this first square. We can see that the length of the side of the square is 2 inches. So first of all, let us determine the area that is equal to a squared. In this case, the length of the side is 2, and so the value of a will be 2. So we have 2 squared, and that is equal to 4 and the unit of the area will be square inches since the length is given in inches. So the area is 4 square inches. And the perimeter will be given by 4a. In this case, the value of a is 2, so we have 4 times 2, and that is equal to 8. And the unit of the perimeter will be inches because the length is given in inches. So the perimeter of the square is 8 inches. Let us have a look at the next square. Now in this square, we can see that the length of the side is 3 inches. So first of all, let us determine the area. That is given by a squared. In this case, the value of a will be 3, so we have 3 squared, and that is equal to 9. So the area will be 9 square inches. And the perimeter is given by 4 times a. So here we have 4 times 3, and that is equal to 12. And so the perimeter is 12 inches. Let us have a look at the next square. Now in this square, we can see that the length of the side is 5 inches. So first of all, let us determine the area. That is a squared. In this case, the value of a is 5. So we have 5 squared, and that is equal to 25. So the area is 25 square inches. And the perimeter is given by 4 times a. So we have 4 times 5, and that is equal to 20. So the perimeter of the square is 20 inches. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time.